How's it going, Wiz readers out there? I am Professor Brown, and today I bring you an exciting tale, a life lesson to be had of Never Show a T-Rex a Book. Now, before we begin, what do you guys think the reason is why we should never read a book to a T-Rex? Think about it. Now let's find out. Never show a T-Rex a book. Never show a T-Rex a book. Just imagine if you do. Well, she won't know what to do with it, will she? She'll probably think it's a hat. Or a pillow. Or a biscuit. So you'll have to sit down and teach her how to read. And if you teach her how to read, she'll get all excited and want to read even more. So you'll have to sneak her into the library. And if you take her to the library, she'll want to borrow lots of books. A lot of books. Books about space and pirates and jungles and dragons. Books about cooking. Books about music. Books about numbers and books about fancy, complicated things that look very important. And if you borrow all those books, you'll have to hide all of them and the T-Rex in your room so your parents don't find out. Or you'll be in big trouble, won't you? And when everyone's gone to sleep, you'll have to sit up all night reading with her. And the next day, you'll have to do it all over again and again and again. Imagine that. And if you read all those books, you are going to get very, very sleepy. And she's going to become very, very clever. And if she becomes very, very clever, she might just decide that she's bored with being a dinosaur. She might decide that she prefer to be an artist. A doctor, a professor, an architect, a computer scientist, an astronaut, or even the prime minister. And if she becomes the prime minister, what do you suppose she'll do next? The first thing she'll do is pass some new laws. Everyone knows that dinosaurs love watching movies. So she'll invite all her friends and make sure they have bigger seats at the cinema and bigger tubs of popcorn and no more roofs on buses and libraries everywhere, lots of them. Of course, she'll want to make sure that all her friends learn how to read too. They probably won't all fit in your bedroom, will they? Imagine what will happen next. You'll just have to take them to school with you. That will be, uh, interesting. And if they all learn to read and all become really, really clever, there will be just no stopping them. They will be everywhere. Can you imagine All that because you showed a T-Rex a book. Right. That's quite enough imagining for one day. But there's nothing to stop you imagining something completely different tomorrow. The end. Well, readers, I hope you enjoyed that book. Never show a T-Rex a book. If you enjoyed it, Please be sure to dive into another book. Keep on imagining. Keep on wondering. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you very soon.